on my Halloween watch list. Watching a bunch of horror movies never seen before. Cube. Does anybody remember how they got here? Cool classic. Uh, I thought this was going to be a bad movie. And to my surprise, it was a good movie. It had some very corny dialogue and some corny acting moments. But overall, I'm like, it was a creative, interesting 90-minute movie that was very thrilling to watch. I was like, wow, I like this idea. I feel like a lot of movies copy this. A lot of TV shows copy this. But I'm like, good stuff. So for those of you who don't know, 1997 Cube. Uh, people wake up in a cube that is very weirdly designed and each room is an escape room of sorts and you have to figure out what you have to you know there's a thing of prime numbers figure out how to determine whether a room is safe or filled with traps And the traps are ridiculous sci-fi traps. You know, you got like nets and, and razor things that come out the wall. And the most interesting part of this movie is, is the conversation about what this thing is. Nobody is in charge. It's, it's a headless blunder operating under the illusion of a master plan. Can you grasp that? Big Brother is not watching you. And it goes in a whole direction that you never expect. It's almost like anti, it's like anti-expository. It's the complete reverse of what you're expecting from a movie like this. And that guy killed it. There's two performances that is, is the, the black dude and the nerdy white guy. They were great. The, the black dude was kind of corny at towards the end. But nerdy white guy, he was great. He was great. Loved him. He kind of came across like uh, Eric from that 70s show. But I loved his character. I loved the reveals of his character. I like all the characters in it. They're all determined. I got very annoyed with the autistic guy with how obnoxious he is, I think, in a real-life scenario. Not knowing the, the reveal. Uh... I would have I would have killed this guy. I would have pushed him in a room. <laughs> I was like, "You fucking shut up." Uh, the girl's the MVP, of course. Very frustrating scenario. You got no bathrooms. You got no food. You got no water. You can't tell where the hell you're at, which is the most frustrating thing. You got to look for the end somehow, wherever the end kind of is. I'm like, you can't tell if you're going in circles or not because everything just looks the same. Every room's the same damn thing. They got these boots idea where to toss some boots in there. I'm like, you be the determining factor that's going to kill us with freaking spikes out of the wall. Uh, very creative movie. And it has a lot to say about society in its own little encased shell. In its little little uh, few character model. But it's interesting. I think the, the woman who was the nicest one to the autistic guy, she got kind of irritating at a point. They got very, like, hokey to me. Yeah. Cube. Have you seen it? Comment down below. What do you think about it? It's a classic. Are the sequels any good? I haven't heard anything about the sequels. Usually horror sequels are not good. But I gotta say the first one, pretty damn good. Uh, I'm gonna give it a 3.5. I think the only thing was I could have used a better ending. I think the ending was a little dissatisfying with people trying to escape. I think the dialogue was a little corny at times. I think the acting was a little corny at times. I would have liked a little bit more, uh, even though I understand I like your speech about what the anti-expository speech, I would have liked a little bit more as to the initial purpose. You could have give, given me a purpose and then led into the speech that the guy gives. So yeah, this will make a little more sense out of it. Comment down below, let me know, and subscribe.